This is how someone who's a good swimmer can still almost drown if you're an idiot. Uh, so I was born in Miami. I could swim before I could, well, anything. Um, I'm a strong swimmer. So around when I was about 13 or 14, me and my buddy Shane and my dad went to Yosemite. And he pretty much let us rove around by ourselves at first, you know, just kind of see what's going on. And, and we wound up at a bridge, the main bridge in Yosemite. And we were watching all these kids, about four or five kids, jumping off the bridge dive bombing the people in the rafts below just doing cannonballs near the rafters and swimming to the edge in this uh, bridge with a river running under it so without even bothering with bathing suits you know I just went in fully clothed I went oh I could do this and the bridge is about 30 feet off the water and you know it didn't seem like any big deal maybe 20 feet so I cannonball into the water and that's when the trouble started <laughs> because I cannonballed and let gravity take its course and I didn't hit the bottom because the river started moving me and it took me a second to realize the only way to get to the surface is to actually swim. Because as a Miamian, I'm used to beaches, which are shallow until you get to the deep part, and pools, which have a bottom. So when you cannonball in, you sink to the bottom and springboard off the bottom to get to the top. So it took me a second to realize I'm not getting any help from the bottom of this non-pool. So I had to frog out and swim desperately to the top. <clears throat> and it took me, you know, it seemed like an eternity to get to the top because I hadn't taken a breath on the way in because, again, when you swim in a pool, you breathe out on the way in to keep water from going up your nose. That's what swimmers do. So I, by the time I got to the top, my chest was tightening up. I was panicking. I was swimming like a lunatic to get to the surface. I got to the top and came up in classic, <gasps> you know, fashion and then floated to the sides with everybody else. But if you're not used to, used to swimming in a river, which is probably about 30 feet deep, or used to swimming in lakes that don't have a convenient bottom, um, you can get caught off guard even if you're a good swimmer. So I nearly drowned when I was about uh, 11 or uh, 12 or 13 years old. So there you go.